Hi everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Um, just another video in possibly, um, I'm thinking of doing a series on reusable products. Um, either some of them may be up here or they will be coming up on this channel as well as reusable menstrual products. Um, because you'll really find two type of people who do videos on reusable menstrual products. Uh, beauty bloggers and uh, who are looking at you know alternative products um, or expanding through a beauty component and uh, use of women's health and stuff um, and people who you know work in alternative products or start with alternative products or are looking at uh, working in a more sustainable uh, way or living in a more sustainable way. Um, so what I'm going to go over uh, today are these uh, vegetable uh, containers um, that I got from an Australian maker called Butterfly Blue Handmade. Um, that's her logo, it's a tag on these. Um, and uh, as you can tell they come in five sizes. Um, this came as like a set I guess um, of these types of things um, and as you can see it's got some stuff got some stuff in here i think i used this last for ginger to be honest so it has all these ginger flecks on the lace on the in front um and this type of uh is a lace that's just kind of sewing up along the edge um it is marginally weighted and this is so that you can uh instead of using uh your plastic uh, bags in the produce section you can use these bags instead um, or you can just free pack it it's completely up to you generally um, so over probably the last 18 months um, I've been kind of I was raised by hippies by the way I was raised a vegetarian by hippies um, and uh, kind of since adulthood I have been living in the city um, when I went to university I've lived in three states in Australia and in three capital cities um, across Australia plus four country towns um, so um, I kind of like living in the city um, I don't think the solution to a lot of the environmental issues that we're having is to separate and divide I think it's really a solution that is better worked um, together however I do as much as I can to you know uh, reduce at least my plastic impact on the world um, and so you know obviously when I switched over my menstrual products um, I also started looking into kind of other things that were um, available I've pretty much always had a water bottle um, with me um, ever since I was a child I'm pretty sure um, I'm one of four um, kids. I'm pretty sure it was just because um, they didn't want to be buying so many bottles of uh, water or juice for kids. They just said, no, you have a water bottle. And that's kind of one of the things. And also, I've always nearly had a, um, a shopping bag in my bag, like a reusable shopping bag. So I don't necessarily pick up a lot of stuff at once. Um. Hi. Um. You won't notice this in the uh, in real time. You'll just notice there's an edit jump. Um, I've been gone for about two and a half hours because my phone went off, um, which you may have heard is a random buzzing in the background. So I actually have no idea where I was up to with the review. So um, I'll just kind of go from what I uh, vaguely remember. <laughs> um, so these, as you can tell, it came in a set of um, five and they are to replace plastic bags um, or useless plastic packaging that comes in things that you can use loose um, to be honest um, these are well these are lace in case you didn't notice with this type of top and then this ribbon so there's a pink ribbon at one side and a purple ribbon at the other so you know which way to pull it closed and then you'll have your produce inside to be honest uh, I uh, while I do like these and they are usually folded up and then just put into a 
contained in my bag if I'm going shopping um, or just folded up all into each other um, or you know stuffed into my bag if I'm going shopping um, to be honest I don't buy um, tons and tons of stuff that would really require bagging um, I would usually buy be buying stuff um, that is either self-contained or just loose in my bag. Um, I live in a um, because I live in a city and I have a shop down within walking distance. Essentially, I have a 24-hour um, IGA within walking distance of my house. Usually, what will happen is I will um, decide what I'm eating and purchase um, enough um, vegetables and um, food products to actually uh, make that. Um, so outside of certain stock that I have like flour and salt and pepper and uh, paprika and all of my favorite herbs, well not that salt and pepper is, it's, but anyway, um, and uh, coriander flakes and chili flakes and all of that type of stuff I generally tend to use fresh chili anyway um, is that I will buy what I need and when I buy what I need that then becomes um, I just loose package it in the bottom of my basket and then I'll uh, put it loose into my bag um, and just package it that way so I don't buy a significant um, enough amount of vegetables to actually warrant having possibly these bags. I don't have a uh, family or kids or, you know, I'm usually only cooking for two people. Um, and outside of, you know, the paprika and the coriander and, you know, all of that stuff that you have in dry storage and flour and, you know, milk in general, sundry stuff um, of that nature. I don't, bananas are probably the biggest, bulkiest thing that I will buy. And um, I don't eat a lot of potato. Um, so while I love these bags, and I love the idea of these bags and they're really adorable and cute. Um, they're not something that I use. <sighs> um, I may actually... Um, I do like them though and I do um, I would probably use them um, if I was um, shopping for a group or like a Christmas or Easter or something where I had to buy a lot of produce um, so yes these bags are exceptionally useful they're exceptionally cute um, they're very well made um, again that's who it's by, a Butterfly Blue Handmade Australia, who is on um, Etsy. Um, so I definitely like the concept of this. This would probably be a potato -y type bag, or at least a greens type bag. Um, and probably the most I would I would use these for, um, even that's possibly a bit big, um, is probably this one with greens. Um, loose leaf greens but you know most things have skins bananas have skins on them um, onions have the skin on them ginger has the skin on them you know I don't find the need to have them in plastic in the first place and it kind of frustrates me as well when I'm in the produce section and I see someone literally put you know one you know brown onion into a plastic bag and then put them into this and I'm like what why why are you wasting that plastic bag which doesn't degrade on one brown onion which is covered in brown onion skin you know that you're taking off to cook um and it's kind of the same with most of the stuff in the produce section that unless you're buying a lot of it you know, even if I was been buying potatoes, I'd buy two or three potatoes. And in which case, I'd put them loose into my bag, loose into the basket, loose into my uh, reusable shopping bag, and take it that way. You know, uh, I, carrots have skin on them. Uh, again, all the stuff that has skin on them, or the same as um, 
avocado has skin on them. <laughs> you don't need to package them in plastic and then package them in your trolley unless you're buying a lot for a big family. You know, unless you're buying kilos of potatoes or kilos of carrots or kilos of, you know, if you're just like me, you know, buying two or three things, um, you know, two or three potatoes, two or three carrots, some ginger or some onion, um, I just leave it loose in my bag. It is completely, I find it completely unnecessary to actually warrant having um, any any bag at all or any cover at all um, but I do find that these would be exceptionally useful for a larger family or a family where you're buying uh, produce in bulk and uh, um, as you can tell because they're lace um, this lacy stuff um, they wouldn't be obviously good for powdered stuff that's probably really obvious um, but yeah I just I don't use it, I don't buy produce in enough bulk to necessarily warrant using these all the time. Um, I do like them um, and I like the fact that, um, that apart from obviously my personal preferences, but I do like the fact that these are all different colours. They make um, noticing which type of bag that you need um, very, very useful. Um, and you know, obviously when you're using these all the time, you know exactly which bag to pull out depending on it, the size and the capacity that you need. Um, these don't weigh significantly enough to actually then be on the weighing machine to actually, you know, increase the money that you're spending on your produce. Um, so again, this is a great, great idea stops you using as much plastic as you would be using if you didn't um, have these however you know unless you're buying stuff in enough bulk I would just you know take produce from the section naked um, and you know put it in your bag as is and then you're good to go um, so probably unnecessary in few unless you're purchase, purchasing in bulk, but a very, very good product uh, if you have a large enough family to warrant it. Thanks. Bye.